Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on how to create the Don't You Worry Child synth. It's a bit of a different setup today compared to my other tutorials as I'm in the process of getting a new computer. But yeah. Anyways we are going to be creating the lead sound in the Don't You Worry Child. So I'll just show you how that sounds now. You can create a similar sound to me, um, but all you need to do is really is to add a lot of layers such as like bass, pads, pianos and stuff, and then you can create a similar sound to me. But yeah, anyways, let's get on with the tutorial. So, first thing you're going to need is a mixer and a combinator, and inside a combinator you just want to create a fork, you want to click the show programmer and then you want to right click and initialize the patch All right, we're going to have three synths today they're all going to be multi oscillators so you want to select this in this little drop down arrow way for the first multi oscillator you want to leave the octave where it is and the semi but you want to bring the tune down to about minus 11 for the second multi oscillator, you want to leave it as it is and don't do anything. For the third os multi oscillator, you want to bring the octave up to 5 and you want to change it to this little mode at the bottom. And you also want to bring the amount of the detune up to about 36. Now, what you want to do is see this little section here that's got the one in it, you want to enable the two and the three this makes the second and the third oscillator make a sound now we're going to keep the low pass ladder filler here but we're going to bring the frequency up, to, up a bit to 5.66 kHz and bring the envelope amount up to 94 you want to keep it at 24 type 2 and that should be that for the mixer, you want to increase the balance of oscillator 1 and 2 by 72, uh, even up to 72. And you want to bring the oscillator 3 level down a bit to about minus 6.4. For the filter envelope, not really going to do much to this, but you can bring the decay up a bit, the sustain down a bit, and then the release up a bit as well. For the amp envelope, I'm going to bring the decay down to 1.33 seconds, and bring the sustain all the way up, and bring the release up a tiny little bit to around, I'd say, 90.5 milliseconds. Now you want to add a little bit of chorus to the synth, so you just want to tick this button here, it comes green. You want to bring the delay to 9.1 milliseconds, then want to bring the feedback up a tiny bit to about 4. Leave the rate where it is, bring the amount, I'd say down to about 20, and bring the dry wet down to about 3. And that's going to be it for the synth itself. So you want to right click on the synth and then you want to create a M class equalizer. You want to enable the low cut, the low shelf, power amp one, and the high shelf. For the low shelf, you want to bring it down to 96.8 hertz and bring the gain down to. 11.4 decibels and bring the Q up a tiny bit to about 0.66 for the param 1 frequency bring it down to 205.3 hertz bring the gain as well down to minus 6.3 decibels leave the Q where it is the high shelf 
bring the frequency up a bit to 6.835 kHz. Bring the gain to 4 decibels and bring the Q a bit up a bit to 0.81. That's it for the equalizer. And then you want to create a vocoder. You want to bring it down to 4 band mode and bring it to equalizer mode as well. You want to also leave the shift where it is, and that's how you, that's it for the equalizer. We're not really going to do much to it. It just adds a nice little crispy edge to the sound. And then you want to create a compressor. Bring the input gain up a bit to 2.3 decibels. Bring, bring the threshold to minus 7.7 .7 decibels, and you want to enable this soft knee button. Bring the ratio down to 79.1. The attack to 71 milliseconds and the release to 431 milliseconds. I just leave the output game where it is. Now you also want to add a bit of reverb. So create a RV7000 advanced reverb. Bring the decay down to 39. Bring the HF damp to 72. The high EQ to 34 and bring the dry wet to about 30. That's it for the synth. So um, yeah, let's see how it sounds. <laughs> Here's the notes if you want them. But yeah, that's about it. Like I said, if you want to create a similar sound to what you heard at the beginning, add some layers such as a piano pads and uh, some bass line. But anyway, yeah, thanks for watching this tutorial.